pretend it's Saturday. But it's not, it's Sunday morning. I forgot to close the vlog. Oops. Probably because it didn't go the way, Saturday didn't exactly go the way I thought it was going to. I thought that we were gonna get all of Bob's cabinets and then unpack them. And then first thing this morning, get started on the installation. It didn't turn out that way. In the meantime, I'm also working on a bunch of business rebranding stuff. And yeah, holy cow. Guys, so I started off the morning really good because I was able to figure out how to edit um, available product on Teespring. Um, yesterday, I spent a lot of time eliminating other websites that have my artwork and merch available. It's only now available either through my Etsy shop or Teespring. Um, so, but I spent most of the day yesterday deleting stuff and then I couldn't figure out Teespring. I think I just didn't have enough brain power for it. But anyway, um, I did finally figure it out. Um, you will probably see me in some videos and vlogs wearing a few different um, face masks with my artwork on them. I do have a few that are thin knit masks that are, I think, from Redbubble, which aren't available it, with my artwork on them anymore, but you can get them with other people's artwork. They're just a flat mask. I think they're probably good for like if you're outside and you're, um, you know, hiking and exercising and you need to breathe really well and you need sort of minimal protection. Um, they don't cover super well. It's one of the reasons that I'm not gonna be selling them. Um, that being said, Teespring has a much better mask that's actually very similar to the ones that I make, and I just now ordered my samples. So hopefully they'll be in in a week or two, and I'll let you know when they come in, I'll show them to you. Um, we're meeting up with the kids later. I just am getting it. I'm supposed to bring salad. <laughs> I need to get rid of a carload full of donations. Um, I'm gonna go try to do it today and get the salad while I'm out. Bob is downstairs unpacking the garage cabinets that did come. As y'all know, if you watched the last vlog, we're missing a key piece as of right now because they delivered everything except the corner cabinet, which isn't coming until tomorrow. We were supposed to be doing the install today, which we had to reschedule, because isn't that fun? Yeah. So anyway, I crossed off a couple more things on my business rebranding to-do list. Um, I didn't add anything new to the list, which is kind of shocking. I've got my list ready for the week and I'm just looking at it. Yeah, I need to edit the vlog and stuff, which I might do today, but I have plenty of time tomorrow. And I need to write up some class notes for a zombie making class, yes. Um, so yeah, um, I think that's it for the minute. I'm going to go see about loading the car up with the donations and getting them out of Bob's way in the garage because that's where they're at. And, um, yeah, I think that's it for the moment. It's actually a very nice day out. It's like in the mid seventies. It's not too hot, a little bit of a breeze. It's really good. And I just found out my coffee order came a day early. So yay, it's a good Sunday all the way around. How about you? All right, I'll be back. So we may not have got all the cabinet parts, um, i.e. we're missing a key corner piece, but we did unpack what we do have and look how pretty that looks. Isn't that nice? Now we are missing also, besides the corner piece, <laughs> we're missing um, some of the feet down here for one of the big cabinets, which is behind me. Thankfully, this cabinet is going up against a wall and we will be able to just do that ourselves, but Bob is gonna call them tomorrow. Hope maybe they can overnight some feet. It's actually not going in this corner of that cabinet. It's going in another part of the garage, so. But yeah, doesn't it look nice? And then there's gonna be cabinets overhead and slat wall in between, and it's gonna be pretty. My car is full of cardboard and styrofoam, so I guess I'm making a run to the disposal company tomorrow. But yeah, it's all right. Anyway, that's it for the moment. I'll hey be guys, back. good morning. It is Monday morning, August 24th, 8.56 a.m. I am headed out to um, Pride Disposal um, to unload that. Whoops, that. <laughs> you can't see the styrofoam, but there's um, equal amount of styrofoam in the back of my car to cardboard. Um, 
anyway, I need to get that out of my car today. So that's my first thing this morning. Then we need to edit next week's vlog. Um, I need to work on a video project for October that I'm sort of collaborating with Mike Deacon on and get that done so that we can sort of get things released at the same time along with some Etsy store listings and other, other, it's a big project. So anyway, I'm working on that today. Also editing YouTube video descriptions. I'm gonna try the bulk editor and I think I figured out a way to use the bulk editor to my advantage and edit all the video descriptions in a way that I want. Maybe, we'll try. Anyway, I'm gonna do all that after I get rid of all of this stuff. We had a, someone digging in our trash last night well, early this morning, 3.10 a.m., caught on security camera. I'm assuming they were looking, well, I'm not assuming, they were looking for recyclables to get money back on, obviously, because I looked in my recycle can and all the plastic bottles and cans and things that were in there are all gone. Um, they didn't take the glass, which is interesting, but I guess you don't get money, as much money back for that, so. I don't have necessarily a problem with that. I've. I love to watch dumpster divers on YouTube, my, some of my favorite channels. Um, although I don't know that I would ever do it because I have a germaphobe th issue, but um, it's fascinating. Um, plus I know people need money and as long as they're not like trying to break into my car or something or leaving a mess behind them, um, I'm not gonna bother to say anything. Although I don't think it's strictly legal in Oregon. I could be wrong, but I don't think so. Anyway. That's it for the minute. I'm gonna go get my stuff dropped off and I'll be right back. Okay, that's all done. I'd pay a $5 fee to dispose of the giant blocks of styrofoam, um, which is fine. So that's all done. Um, I can head home now. I kind of want a third cup of coffee today. It's becoming a bad Corona habit. It is still Monday. We're out for a walk. I have a mask if I need it. Uh, I've mentioned a couple of times that we're finally working on the rebranding and simplifying of the art business to hopefully make it more productive and more profitable. That's the end goal anyway. So over the next few days and weeks, you will see changes. Some things will go away. Some, I'm trying to step in mud clods. Um, some things will go away. Some things will change, hopefully for the better. I worked all day today on video description edits again, and to the point where my hands kind of hurt. Um, and towards the end, I got it done. It's not the prettiest thing on the planet. Some of the, on some of the descriptions, it's a little bit, there's some gaps in the way the text is, but 1600 videos, I do not have, I did it once and sat and went through every single video. I'm not doing it again. <laughs> so I did the best that I could. Um, and we're working on some new logos and new artwork, business artwork. So yeah, now we're gonna go get some fresh air. It's a beautiful evening out. It's in the low 80s. There's a beautiful breeze, nice fresh air. It's actually 74. Oh, 74, see, there you go. So, well, it's a lot, a lot cooler than it's been. So we're gonna go get our walking in and when it gets people, I'll put this on and it's all good. I'll be back. I think I missed him. There's a, a deer. I can hear him, but I don't know where he went. He went off that way. I guess it's a good thing they're not friendlier because it'd probably be mean. It's just about 10 minutes to 10 a.m. on Tuesday, August 25th. Don't get excited. I'm in front of the computer because I'm setting up for, where are we, there we go. Live broadcast this morning. We're gonna work on some more slow stitching and um, have some chatting. Oh, I forgot my iPad. Crap, I've gotta go downstairs. I really have had all my coffee, not that you'd know that, but anyway. I'll see you on the live broadcast. I'll be back. Guys, it's another beautiful evening. It's a little warmer today. It's about 79 degrees according to my weather app. But we are headed out for another walk. 
I'm just happy it's not like 90 like it was. Uh, I spent the day working on um, stuff for 2021. I got one whole project completed for the whole year next year. So that is done. I'm not saying any more about it, except that it's for the Facebook group of Life of Art and Self-Expression. That's all I'll tell you, but it's all done. It's being currently reviewed by the current admins and hopefully they're looking for any issues, problems, typos, you know, because <laughs> it's me. Um, but now my hands are sore again because I spent the whole day on the computer again. We made a little hedgehog pincushion today on the live broadcast. I'll put a picture here and he's real cute. And now we're gonna go for a walk because Bob promised me if I go walking that I get to have gelato. So, you know, <laughs> I'm all about the gelato. <laughs> so, all right, I'll be back. Yes, I have my mask in case it gets people -y. There's no people around right now. All right, I'll be back. Follow me on social media, probably wonder about the cat. It's just a neighborhood cat, and there's usually actually two of them. They're just not bothered by dogs or people or anybody. They're cute. They're real pretty cats. Guys, it is Wednesday, 12, 18 p.m. I almost said December. August 20 something. 7th? I literally just looked this up like two minutes ago. Hold on. 26th. Um, anyway, I see more stuff in my desk that needs to go away. Anyway, um, I have not vlogged until today, until just now. Um, I have no excuse. I haven't really been super busy. I've just been having a chill morning where I really haven't gotten anything done. Uh, I think we all need one of those now and then. I did do the dishes, but you know, I wrapped up an Etsy order. Tried to figure out something on the computer that, with Google Documents that I just, it's beyond me. I can't figure it out and I'm gonna have to do it a different way. <laughs> the admins and I will have to do it a different way, um, which is fine. We'll have to go old school. I'm okay with that. Right now, uh, there we go. I have that pile on my desk for a video project, which I can't speak about yet, but I need to start filming it today. Um, and it's going to coincide with an Etsy order, an Etsy order, an Etsy store new listing release. Um, so I need to get the video filmed and get everything scheduled and yeah, stuff. So I spent the afternoon getting a new project done and ready and edited and the multiple things for that set and ready to go. I'm going to go for a walk now, get some steps in, get some walking in, clear the energy out. Um, I caught lo my Lose It app up. I was like 20 days behind. I was like, really? That's not going to help me get healthier. In the midst of all that, I got a call from my doctor about setting an appointment to go see her. Uh, something about a six months checkup. Uh, never done that before. Don't know why she wants to do that. So I'm not scheduling it until I hear a call back because the hell is up with that. Anyway, I'll keep you all posted. I'm going to listen to some music and go get some steps and I'll be back. Hey guys, it's 12.05 p.m. just after lunch, Thursday the 27th. Uh, the cleaning lady is here and uh, working and I am just up here in the office fiddling around um, catching up on my Lose It Health app and at least catching up on taking my blood pressure which I found out I can log and lose it. I found that out this morning. Yay! Um, I'm also going to be putting my steps in there trying to keep a better record. I've lost eight pounds since January. I'm not sure how I did that with like COVID stress eating and all but Yay for me. Um, anyway, there's lots of probably projects I should be doing, but none I have to be doing. So, you know, I'm gonna have some lunch and uh, finish laundry and go for a walk later and that sort of thing. 
of those days where I'm just not getting enough done. It's not just me, right? Anyway, so yeah, that's the thing. I don't know. I'm just having a blah day. I think I'm gonna sit and read a book. I'm just gonna go with the flow. I did do today once the cleaning lady and gardener and everybody left was I took some of my succulents out of the window and replaced them with some of the herbs that were on the kitchen counter and the green onions, which weren't doing very well all of a sudden. I'm guessing maybe they weren't getting enough sunlight. So I took some of the succulents out of the pots that were up here and put the herbs there. I don't know if they'll come back or not. We are headed to the market, so I may just pick up some new ones. This was sage, but it's like looks just about dead. I don't know if it's gonna come back. Rosemary. The basil is doing just fine. I clip, clipped it. That's the only reason it looks like that. I don't know. I might give them a couple of days and see what happens. And I put the succulents that were in the window over here. So, I don't know. We'll see. Move the plants around. It's all right. Good morning. It's 9.06 a.m. on Friday, August 28th, I'm pretty sure. Um, I am just getting started. I'm having kind of a late start this morning. The blahs are definitely starting to set in, probably due to the worldwide situation, but also things like being worried about the kids road tripping it down to California to visit family and do things that have to be done down there. Being worried about my mother-in-law. She's kind of freaking out about the whole thing. Um, the unexpected doctor visit, wanting to see me or talk to me like for a six month checkup regarding my medication, which is weird. I've never had to do before. Um, just a lot of things. It's just kind of, you know, it builds and builds and builds and builds and then you just kind of, yeah. So anyway, my car is absolutely filthy, covered in tree sap and God knows what else. <sighs> Just a thing, right? Anyway, um, we're going to the kids' house for dinner tonight. We don't, we're not having it at our house, which is great. Um, but I still need to go out and pick up a few groceries and check the PO box. So that would be why I'm in the car. And um, we're gonna go get that done. I'm not gonna get too much because I think we're gonna go bargain grocery shopping this weekend, which means like going to like the grocery outlet and Winco, but there are a few things they don't ever have that we like. So I'm gonna go get those things at Fred Meyer. And then if we have time to do the bargain grocery shopping um, tomorrow, then we will do that. Otherwise I'll put that off a little bit, but. We don't need too much. It's just the two of us. So anyway, I think we're finally installing Bob's cabinets this weekend and screwing them to the wall. The last part that was missing is supposed to be in today. So cross your fingers, people. All right, that's it for the minute. I'll be back. So that's all done. There wasn't anything in the PO box. I don't get tons of happy mail or anything. So that didn't surprise me. Um, I don't solicit happy mail. That being said, if you want to send me some, my address is in the video description. Um, anyway, I got all the grocery shopping done also. And, um, of course there's a few things that we would like, but don't absolutely have to have. Um, some things that we like that are from the discount grocery stores like Winco. So we may go there like I said this weekend I don't know if we don't get there this weekend I'll go early next week and nothing that we're not gonna start have I said yet that I've been having computer problems I think I have anyway oh, what started out as a couple of computer glitches and then later um, I was trying to clean up the time machine backup files and it went south from there. It went south, yeah, it went south from there. I'm sure it's operator error. I don't know what I did or how I did it, but the short story is you know, we were restoring the computer and putting the new operating, uh, new copy of the operating system on because everything was completely effed up. Yeah.
yeah so that's a thing so the last two days if I haven't really kind of been with it and I said yesterday it's just been blah computer issues just really rub me the wrong way anyway we are headed out because we are meeting the kids for dinner and we need to go to the store first and pick up dessert because we were asked at the last minute to bring dessert so yeah that's a thing along with uh, appetizers along with appetizers so we're gonna go and do that neighbors are getting their house painted that looks nice yeah so um anyway we're gonna go do that and i will check in with you probably tomorrow i'll be saturday back. morning august 29th it is 10 50 a.m i am slowly making progress on fixing my computer <laughs> we've got the system restored now we're repairing the external hard drive which may be the problem for not being able to delete the files i was trying to delete that caused the problem in the first place and blah 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 the short story is once we get this fixed i'm probably upgrading to mojave because like this is ridiculous and the apple technical support people are fairly certain it's an operating system issue so no guarantee upgrading will solve the problem of me having all these little tiny bugs but it should so yeah in the meantime it's just very slow process and you have to just let things run and do what they may so we're letting the computer do its first step in the process right now. And it's gonna take probably as much as an hour and we're gonna go out and run some errands and then I'll try to have it do with the next step and then go do something else. And yeah, so it's a thing. Anyway, we're gonna go on a drive and we will pick up a few things that we still need and we need to, um, well, we're on a hunt for Pepsi sugar because that's a thing, but I already told y'all that. So, yeah, we're going to go do the, all those things and be safe while we're doing it, of course, and we'll be back. Did I mention yet that my computer issues are not completely resolved? Yeah. So, the short story is I upgraded the operating system on my computer and I went from El Capitan straight to Catalina, <laughs> which is the current operating system. Um, I have spoken to two different Apple tech support people today and someone is going to call me back at 5:30 to see if this worked or not. <laughs> it's just Yeah, I don't know, it's a thing. So anyway, oh joy. I'll be back. Other things I wanted to do with my Saturday instead of this, but I, you know, they're not getting done. I'm not even sure when I'm going to be able to edit this vlog at this rate. I need a computer. <laughs> Um, yeah, so that's a thing. We did go to a new Fred Meyer um, that we hadn't been to before in Wilsonville, I think. I don't think we've been to that one before. Um, we had a lot of rewards points from Fred Meyer from buying groceries there. We were, we got a whole dollar off on our gas, a whole dollar. We paid a dollar forty seven nine for gasoline. So basically $1.48 a gallon. It filled up my Subaru. It was almost on empty. And it only cost, I think, just under $21. I can't remember the last time I only spent that much on a full tank of gas. So it hasn't been a horrible day. I just switched my computer was like working. <laughs> Anyway, Bob's downstairs getting um, his garage parts ready for tomorrow because tomorrow's the install of that. Um, and let's hope that goes better than this. <laughs> All right, I'll be back. Hey guys, good evening. It's Saturday evening. What time is it? 9.39. I am waiting for the computer to finish emptying the trash. It does look, cross your fingers, at this moment that upgrading the operating system was... Um, what was needed, that there was a, evidently a bug in my system somewhere. Um, I did do um, the deletes in a couple of different batches and it seems to have worked. I was able to do that. I was able to manipulate it a bit, so I, I wasn't able to do that before. Um, while I was waiting, I updated a couple of the apps. So I'm not gonna do too much of that um, because I'm gonna let it do the deleting first. I am hoping it does the deleting before I want to go to bed and that it's done because I would love to turn the computer off and just leave it off maybe all day tomorrow <laughs> and just revisit the computer on Monday and edit this vlog on Monday and 
all of that stuff. I did make sure I moved, the iMovie app was updated and the Logitech webcam app was updated because I'm going to need those pretty quickly. So um, unless there's any bugs, we should still be live on Tuesday, but watch my YouTube channel and my Facebook art groups for a notification on that one way or the other. And yeah, so far so good. Cross your fingers. <laughs> anyway, um, I hope you've had a good week. It's, you know, getting weirder and weirder by the minute, but I mean, it's a pandemic. What are you going to do? <laughs> just, you know, it is what it is, right? So we're just trying to make it work and we're trying to keep making art and keep being creative and, you know, just, just to try to approach everything with calmness and kindness as much as we can because there's enough anger and frustration going around for, you know, a couple of different planet Earths. We don't need to add to the mix, in my opinion. <laughs> no matter what your opinion about the situation is. Anyway, if you'd like to support the free content here on YouTube or over in the Facebook art groups, there are lots of different ways to do that. Check out the video description. If you click on the link tree list of links down in the video description, it says link tree slash in my name. Um, you're going to find every place that I am on the internet. You're going to find my Etsy shop there, um, my Patreon, um, YouTube, you can join YouTube membership. There is a support the free content link. Um, my um, Facebook art groups are there. My Instagram is all that stuff. So check it out. Check out the video description. It always has relevant stuff down there. Um, don't forget to, um, you know, right now, something I've done a few times in the last few days is say thank you. The Apple tech support people, I'm going to give them a little plug right here. I am, I'm a Mac person. I have all Mac products. Apple technical support has been great this week, trying to help me figure out what was going on, walking me through the steps of fixing it or trying to fix it. Um, even sometimes when it didn't work, they were fabulous. Um, all at no charge. They've been great. So we need to remember to say thank you. I say, I've said thank you a few times this week to them. I thanked the staff at Walmart when I was there recently because they have been great through the pandemic with keeping things clean and sterile and six feet and that, at least in mine. So say thank you to people. I don't think people right now, especially, you know, tech support people and essential workers and frontline workers, and they're not hearing that enough. I think they need to hear that more. Anyway, that's my little lecture for the day. So support where you can, not just my content, but other creatives content. I know they would appreciate it. They usually all have a way. Check out their video description. If you can't figure it out, ask. And don't forget to stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative, and go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Just remember to say thank you. All right, that's it. We'll see you next week. Bye, guys.